Well, I'm back for more Paper Mario, and this part we're gonna go speak to Don Pianta. What, what, what were you, wise guy? I ain't too Johnny today. If you got a beef, spit it out quick or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want, a, you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See now, to me that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. <laughs> you want I should run this bum out on the rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like being funny, guy. You, you looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He he just come to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you want the reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You wanna go some? You wanna help some broad who got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars. Hey, boss. Ain't those the legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Oh, excuse me, but that's not true. The treasure is real. Honest. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some scare he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, well, we can do anything. What is it? It's easy. Less, it's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter elopes with one of my young associates. They vanished, but that wasn't too long ago that they did. They might st ought to be still nearby. You find my daughter Francesca and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you aren't able to bring them here, then you are, all you have to do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some group off with this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's because you looks can't find her that I got swallowed my pride and asked this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're full understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? You make my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. I mean, just so we're clear, yeah? If you don't find my daughter, you're not going to make table. Okay, dokie, then. We are going to find the daughter, yeah? Alright, sorry. <laughs> Oh, this like Mafia and Waka from, from Final Fantasy X. Jeez, whatever. Hey guys, it's no formal introduction. I can't remember if I made a formal introduction, but this is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, in case you didn't know. There is some stuff we can do here, but I don't really feel like doing it right now. I just want to get into Chapter 3. Um, there's actually not much we can do. There's a couple of mini game type things we can do. But I'm not so good at them. I never do much with them, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to go find a... Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca, and her eloper, Frankie, and they're gonna see if we can go on to uh, Glitzville and get that crystal star. And they are, here they are. Hey, back off, you creep. They're really sliding up to people. <laughs> what? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. Boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to boss one more time. No, Frank, you don't say that. You know what it'll do to you if we do the Francesca baby doll. You can just talk calm like with the boss. He'll understand. Oh, Frankie. Of course I love your sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Let's go, friend. Let's run to the end of the earth if we have to. But it's better, Biscuit. They're only falling aside. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! No way, sob sister. What you didn't say to me, you terrible, terrible man. Fine. Well, we know where they are, so let's just go tell Don Pianta. Because we're such nice people. How's it going? Oh, oof. Out of the way, Dr. Steve. Alright. Ah, silly reference to future chapter. Alright then, let's continue on. <laughs> well, I don't really care about love. Let's just go on to Glitzville. <laughs> All this glitters is not gold. I'm just making sort of stick in the mud. It wasn't for the thing that's falling. I probably wouldn't tell him either if it was me. But whatever. And I don't want to get beaten up by Don Pianta. He's a bit of a jerk, if you know what I mean. Alright. Take this long walk all the way to the full What is that? Oh, I'll try to do Okay.
I don't need one of those. I have read all these items, as you may have noticed. So, you know, whatever. It's always useful, though, in case some enemies can easily attack. So. Look there, the proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood. So, give, what do you got there? You know what we're about These two runaways? Oh, is that true fact? Work for Arbor, eh? Well done, I appreciate this favor, and you know, I'll prepare your blood tickets. Hey, you two, Nimrod. The kids are at the harbor. Now, go get them. Daddy, wait. Huh, <laughs> we told them anyway. Oh, they're back, so. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. I truly, I am. Thank you. So, back you come, eh? Hung low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy. Don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no. It's I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you were gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame. Right here. Daddy. Boss. Yarg. Enough. Quiet. Both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you're like a son to me. They say you will pay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such a point in you too. It's like a poison to shroom my gut. Daddy, boss, I don't even want to see your mugs here again. You hear me? You get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad, no, wait. Boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make I pro I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise. She'll want for nothing. Enough, alright, go. Aw, Don Pianta. Alright. Goodbye, Daddy Crow, thank you. Alright then. Well, that was awkward. Let's just go on to Glitzville. Because I really want to go to Glitzville. I enjoy Glitzville somewhat. Is it my favorite chapter in the game? No, it's not. I'll tell you guys, not that's my favorite chapter in the game. But, for now, we'll do less of this in a future point in time. There's not much to do here, but there's a little bit, so we'll just do it later. Speaking of death, well, this is an awesome looking train, but we don't need a train. We're going on a uh, blimp. What? Oh crap, I forgot I had to talk to him to get the tickets. Wow! There's a fail right there. I bet all you guys are screaming in your seats telling me, Dig! 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 Shape! 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 You gotta ask him. Oh, whatever. I bet you guys aren't saying Dig! 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 Maybe I should start saying that. I'm gonna make a catchphrase. Dig! 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 that barrel. Dig! 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 These are nice stairs. Dig! 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 Hey, Francesca. Dig! 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 You still here? Alright, I don't feel like talking to you. I don't want to talk to you, you mob boss, you. Oh well. Oh, Frankie and Francesca have a good time wherever they went. Oh well, I'll probably never see them again. Oh, right, we did it, Mario. Yay, thanks, Scoops, for telling me that. I had completely forgotten. Oh, an email. Anything I care about? Obviously not, but let's just check anyway. Coopley. Who is Coopley? Oh, it's his dad, okay. I don't think, did they even tell you your name is his name before? I don't remember them doing that. Well, if I don't really care about Coopley's dad, if you guys want to read the emails, you can. Or if you really want me to, I'll make a part at the end where I read all the emails, but I will be joining on your flip today. Alright then. Go in blimp and go off to our Glitzville. Huzzah! Glitzville. Some nice music there. And there we are. In the blimp. And flying off into... Chapter 3! 
of Glitz and Glory. Here's chapter three. One of my more favorite chapters. Um, third, second, th third chapter, favorite chapter. Thing. Actually, <coughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll rank them later for you guys. But whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go. Thank you for just hovering there. And now we're back to our little eccentric backgrounds cut out form. Here's Glitzville. And we're like as long across as Glitzville is. That's a big blimp. Think about that. And like where look how tall we are compared to that. <laughs> Jeez. But here we are, we just start chapter three. Huzzah. Awesome. If we want to go back, leave Glitzville, just talk to that fish guy again. I want to call him Fishby. That doesn't ever, like, punch in the sky or anything. <laughs> hmm. Hot dogs. Yum. Glitzville. That's cool. I don't like your star already, Mario. Let's do it. How's it going, Gold Baba? It's Gold Bob, actually. A hostile hot dog, hot dog stand. We are hot dog. Poops, you is a hot dog. I can as hot dog. All right, but let's uh, go and check out here because this place looks pretty cool. And it's actually where we're supposed to be going, obviously, because I'm going there. There's not too much to explore on Glitzville, but we'll do it later. Actually, you know, let's go in here. Check out the big doors. So this is the Glitz Pit. This is where people fight. There's these two Glitz Pit characters. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right. Feel the time for Feel the Rock! Actually, I know what part I'm trying to give this guy. Oof. Stay down, Pinkushin. You know I'm more dish. Why do you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking. We be stare the ring and feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do you want a million pushes? And then comes the Uncle Rock Herc. I'll give you another world class spanking and send you cry home to mama again. Ha da 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 da. Howie! A champ! That was a great old woman! Yeah, I fought on a match. You co do the match? And were there a fair dude who can change me? No, no one can hear me. And a fair dude can even make me sweat. There were a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You get a bone to pick? Come fight me! Bring it! I'll take on any word! You weaklings might as well stick on to video game fight, okay? Cause that hurt you! <laughs> yeah! Number one, baby! Rock Hug is a champ! Oh, what? Crystal Star! Let me see that, Mario. The thing on his shiny belt. Is that the Crystal Star? Well, it's gonna be easy. Just go up and ask him for him. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be special like Crystal Star, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why are they down this guy's belt? Maybe he's better protection in a tree. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal the guy's belt, or can we? Let's steal that thing. Um, that's fine. I don't think, I don't think we can't do that. It just wouldn't be right. Alright, yeah, we'll just fight it to the top. Let's do it. Actually, I believe something funny you can do in the hallway. I believe there's something you can actually unlock from it. Take flurry and you could blow off all the posts. Nope. Yeah, I. No, I could have sworn. Oh, whoa, whoa! Look, it's uh, uh Miss Mouse. Mouse up to no good. Wait, I could have sworn you could blow. Can you do it up here? Is this it? Um. Well, now I feel stupid. Whatever, next time we'll go and see him and we'll blow the, the post on the time. I think it's a different part of the chapter to be able to. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.